Okay, so let's just uh, jump into the world of, um, just visit uh, Sound Iron. Look at this thing. That That is just unbelievable. That is just I mean, when I saw that, I said, that just doesn't even look real. They sent me a copy to uh, take a look at, and I'm so glad that they kind of keep me in the loop with stuff like this. Let's just pull up Octabase and just kind of play through this. Um, uh, you do need the full version of Contact for this. It's got like a master patch that has all the articulations put in together. Y you know you know how it goes here. We're just going to dive in and, and just play and see what happens. <laughs> Can you go? Well, I'm running out of notes, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play them on the keyboard on the. Oh my. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So this, uh, if you see here, this is this is this key here, but then it goes an entire octave lower. That's incredible. So, so you would have to uh, kind of shift, um, shift the keyboard, you know, shift the entire keyboard down an octave to get that to. Uh, okay, you know what? We can, I can kind of do that. Let me do that inside of Cakewalk here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard anything like that. It sounds, yeah, it's, yeah, it just sounds that, that amazingly low. And I think that's what they said here that, um, yeah, that it can get down into some amazing uh, harmonics. Just looking at the, um, yeah, you got to check out the background on this. Um, but it, to get some very unusual effects and that type of thing, this is it's just... And this is uh, the legato. And let's see, let's just go... C1 takes you through the dynamic layers. You know, you know, David, I think they, they sampled it. I would say to, um, well, let's just click on the wrench here. Uh, we can kind of click on the wrench and see what the, um, yeah. So, so yeah, they sampled this. They sampled that. It looks like that's what that, uh, what that is where, where they've got the um, where they've got this sampled pretty much all the way down in those lower those lower registers there, which is which is incredible. All of those amazing harmonics. And let's see, let's check out the, okay, we got Fort Sando.
That's crazy. A staccato. And we got some round robins going on. Cool. Spiccato. And with the short articulations, you've got round robins. And then we've got um, we've got some effects. You know, you can put compression, and this is cream. Let's just see. Uh, uh, let's just check out some of these electric lotus. So you can come up with some crazy, crazy effects with that. So we got a lot of equalization and filters going on here. Then we've got a mic mixer. So we've got close mics and far mics, but what, uh, what we can do is uh, we can mix these in this, uh, we've got like a little 3D mixer here. Let me uh, go back to the effects and get something a little bit nicer sounding. I like the cream. It's nice and nice and silky. And I see my good friend Sound Iron. We're having a we're, we're just getting blown away by this. And see this way we can use this little 3D mixer to kind of position position this in like this little stage thing. Go back to the, the mains here. We've got some tremolos. That's it's just it's just a beast. That's why I call it, I, I guess uh, when I when I have uh, when I have a live stream coming up, I always. I always have a theme. And so the bold and the beautiful. Uh, this is the bold. <laughs> this is like the in your face bold. Uh, listen to that. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. And then. Um, Pizzicato, it's a little kind of. I mean, listen to this ring out. Okay, so, ah, here we go. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Okay, that's right. So we can get the dynamic layers through the velocity. Yeah, so that, that, makes, a, that makes a big difference. Take an instrument and play it not like you're supposed to play it it becomes another it becomes another instrument that's a lot of fun uh, let's see uh let's see swell sustains
was digging into that. It's just. Let's turn some reverb. Now we're getting into some. swells performed brings that dynamic this, those that movement and dynamic to it that's wild so we've got uh, convolution reverb let's drop it down um, to like an effects So you let it go and then it then it does its then it's doing its thing after you let it go. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Let's see. Let's do uh, let's do a chamber. And let's uh do another um let's just do the um sustains. so many things going on and I'm glad I have these larger drivers here because you can really hear that that's beautiful it's it's wild uh, and of course we've got some flotando um, let's just check that out and let me turn uh, let's go back to the, the uh, algorithmic hall And another feature that this ha has, uh, we've got um, we've got some phrases, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we've got phrases too. So let's um, let's load that up. And I've not um, not heard these. <laughs> I can't imagine. So these are, you know, these are, you know, phrase loop, uh, phrase type of things. They capture the, you know, the full performance. That's crazy. That's just nuts. Okay, let's see. Yeah. And we can switch between different sets of... Um... That's great. <laughs> so you've got a whole... Um, you've got a whole collection of, of these... Um, really so much going on with this so um yeah so let's go hey let's give one of these let's give one of these oh oh yeah you know we've got we, we've got to see if we can we've got to see if we can do that okay i'm gonna go back um i'm gonna go back to the um just the uh master 
and see if we can do something like that. <laughs> uh, let's see, I guess with a, um, let's force it. Let's do uh, like the staccato. Spiccato. Yeah, let's try that. And kicking the velocity sensitivity going. Here we go. 